Hello, welcome to my corner. And today we're going to be doing a few different decals with the ghost toner system using the white toner. Uh, and then also Forever Laser Dark. And then the software I'm going to be using in this example is once again, uh, Vinyl Master. Um, so uh, these, as you know, I'm not much of a graphic designer. So uh, these designs have been provided to me by deviledecals.com. Uh, if you have a chance, go check them out. It's a veteran-run business, uh, www.devildecals.com. Very talented graphic artist, uh, and uh, they're just doing some great things over there. Okay, so the very first thing we want to do is make sure that we have our printer putting down the maximum amount of toner that we can have it set. So we want to access our printer on the network and then change the printer density to the maximum settings. To do that, we need to find our IP address. And so we're gonna go into the setup on the printer. Once we have it connected to the network, click select reports, then network summary. And then it's going to print out the network summary. Once we've got that printed out, then we want to uh, look at our IPv4 address, type that into the address bar. And then that's going to take us to this page. And so once you can see that we're here, you want to go over to the system tab, which is right here. And then that's gonna bring up this page here. And then we want to go to where it says print density. Select that. And then you want to change everything from zero to five. Five is the maximum, negative five uh, is the minimum. The adhesive on Forever Laser Dark is only activated wherever there's toner. So the more toner, the better. Make sure that you hit apply on your way out and then we're done here. Now, here we are in Vinyl Master. Uh, what I'm about to show you can be done in the very basic version of Vinyl Master Cut. Um, and all I'm gonna be doing is using the Contour Cut feature to draw an outline around it, uh, and then adjusting where that uh, contour line is. I'm gonna pull it inside just a little bit, and then copy it, move it to another page, and then make it black. So uh, really fast, really simple, easy to do. All right, so here we are. The first thing I'm gonna do is select the object and then go up here to the little apple for the contour cut. And I'm gonna select create contour cut. The image has some, you know, whatever. We're gonna trace it. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at its normal settings and then just hit trace here. Let it do its thing. And then you can see we've got a blue line there right along the outside of it. Now, once we're happy, just hit apply. And then there we've got our contour there. Now we can adjust it. I want to bring it in a little bit because this is what we're going to use to create our white underfilling layer for our second run through. And if we just adjust it and bring it in just a little bit by half a millimeter, um, you know, it can cover up that registration error. And I'm going to show you an example. Now, first on this one, I'm just going to bring it in probably about, uh, I don't know, negative point uh, Z75. Here's, you know, that's what it looks like 50. See how it brought it in there? Um, but uh, let me just move it into 7.5. Just type that in, press enter. You can see it brought it in a little bit closer. See how close it is to the, uh, the red? And because we've got that black outline, that's gonna hide that, we're gonna use that to hide the registration errors when we run it through twice. And you know, because we've got that toner set to max, um, and we're going to be uh, doing that second you know, run through with it with it also on max we're going to have a much stronger uh transfer so um let's go ahead and trace this one i'll do this one at 50 um, just so that we can have a comparison negative 50 yeah negative 0 0.50 let me just clarify that The next step is to select our contour cut lines and then bring them over to a new page and copy and then paste them in the new page. That way they're gonna be in the exact same spot uh, that we have them on the, the first page. And then once we have them there, we're just gonna select this black color over here. It's gonna fill it in and that's gonna be our white layer. Rinse and repeat over here, select the contour, copy, Go over to the next page, select paste, and then select make it black, fill it in. 
And we do that just by clicking the color over there on the right. And then that's our white underfilling layer. We've adjusted it. Um, and then let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Here you can see that the registration is a little bit off, but because we've got that black outline, it's nice and hidden. It doesn't go too far to the right, and it stays inside the area, but we've covered the entire red, so it's going to have a nice pop, and there's going to be white underneath your text. Same here down here. We did it to the negative uh, 0.50, uh, and now you can see, you know, same, same result. Still looks good. So, as you can see, there's a quick fix for that one right there. Next, we're going to head back over to Vinyl Master and take a look at this fire emblem I've got here. It's got a white background and a lot of intricate things on the inside, and then we have text going across the top and bottom. I'm going to have two examples here, one where I just leave the text alone, leaving it uh, with no white uh, background, and then another one where I do a white background to the text, but kind of like have it as an outline as well too. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to do is make a copy and then get rid of the text over one because I'm going to have to do a separate uh, contour for the text and then I'm not even going to do the contour on the text at all in one of them. So first we want to trace it and make sure that we've got all of our outline there. I'm not going to do any holes uh, because I don't want to have any holes on the inside because it's all going to be a solid white. Um, as you can see when it does the trace it uh, mirrors it uh, so that's why it's flipping back and forth. Now I'm going to adjust the outline. Look, I've got 0 0.75, you know, this is a pretty thick, um, I'm sorry, negative 0 0.75. This is pretty thick, so I'm going to make it uh, much higher than that. Here I am at uh, negative 1.25. You can see that looks pretty nice. Um, so uh, let's stick around with that. That's a good number. Just kidding. I like negative 1.50 better. Once we're happy with our contour, we just want to hit accept and then we'll be ready to go. The next step is to bring the text over. I'm going to erase this. Uh, this can only be done in Vinyl Master DSR, so just letting you know. Um, uh, I went ahead and erased the emblem from that. Now I'm going to bring the text over and just uh, line it up over the top of the emblem. Now to do that, I'm going to have to center the contour cut, the text, uh, and everything all together and I can do that over here in the right menu with Vinyl Master using the guide option. And then you want to make sure that you have all three of the items selected and then hit the uh, center to each other. And then once you do that, then you want to copy your contour cut over again and then make it black because it's probably moved uh, like <laughs> after I did it the first time. So now that one's ready to go. So now let's do one that has some uh, white toner around the text. So the first thing I'm going to do is just, you know, start with uh, everything we've got here. I've already got a contour cut and everything, so I'm just going to copy and paste it right here. Then I'm just going to select the text. Once I've got the text, just going to go back to our little contour cut apple up here on the top screen and then start messing around uh, with the different uh, size outlines. Okay, that's about enough playing around. I think I found, uh, let me fill in the hole, turn it up a little bit more, yeah. And then you see how I've changed my corner style to sharp? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, all right, that's pretty nice. Ah, all right, so we've got that one, and then now we need to grab each of our contours one by one. You can do that over here in the objects menu that I just opened, that I had open on the right side here. Just control C, copy, control V, paste, and then select the black. There we've got our text for the white layer. Now we're going to grab the other one and paste it. And there we go, it's a white layer. Now I'm going to rinse and repeat with some different sizes down below. To save time, I'm not going to show those because, you know, we've basically already covered. As you can see here on the top left, we've got a nice uh, transfer inside the black lines here. Registration is hidden. Um, there's no, nothing on the text on the top left. Here on the top right, we've got the outline on the text here. 
everything stayed. Bottom right, I made the outline a little thicker. Everything stayed inside of it as well too. Out here I made it, or that, yeah. <laughs> that one you barely got to see. I made, uh, you know, it's a little bit uh, closer to the outer edge and it still worked fine. So uh, everything turned out great here within my registration error predictions. Um, and you know, we kept it hidden with that white outline. And so let's go ahead and move on to the All right, time to move on to the final image. Now this one, um, I separated the phone number, web address, and then the main image that was in this one. So I'm gonna split that up into two prints. Uh, and I'm just gonna do that because I'm, you'll see why in a minute. So I've got it, I've got it resized. Uh, you know, we've got some black outline around the text already. Um, so I don't think it would hurt if I put a black outline around this. Um, so let me just click through here confused because what I want to do is actually go to the box tool But let me just Okay, now that we've selected the box tool, I'm just gonna draw a box around here um, And then because it's one of what vinyl master calls a power shape uh, I can take these little boxes out here make it round on the outside and then bring my inner bit here Now I'm gonna take the time to fix it, but I'm gonna speed that up so you don't have to sit here and wait Now that I'm happy with my black box around everything, let's go ahead and draw our contour around the main image. I selected the main image, and then now I'm gonna apply the outline, uh, you know, trace it like usual. Happy with it, just hit apply. And then I'm ready to adjust my contour. Now because I've got that black outline, I can let it stick out a little bit. That way I can make sure that even if the registration's off, the entire image on the inside will be covered um, with that white underfilling layer. Um, so now select my contour copy open up a new page and you should know by now what we're going to do next we're going to paste it and then paint it black and then that's good for that one so for this example you'll see <coughs> excuse me that I've got two layers of our two different texts here the top one I'm just going to leave by itself leave it normal the second one I'm gonna mess around with and apply a white underfilling layer. And to do that, I'm gonna to have to vectorize it because I'm gonna to have to edit it a little bit here uh, inside Vinyl Master. So I'm just gonna add two colors. Um, and you know, it's a vinyl cutting program so it can vectorize things. Uh, you, I'm sure you have, most of you have experience with this. Um, so I am gonna vectorize it. And then once I can do that, then I can start using the tools to start editing it a little bit because it's a vector. Um, so I'm going to go over here to the outline tool and then just add a little bit more to this black outline That way I can have that cover up of my white underfilling layer uh, ugh, That's that's kind of a lot. This should be fine and uh, I want to you know, yeah, that, that, That's a little bit better um, so I'll accept that and now oh, <laughs> Make sure that you select both of them when you're going to do it um, so now I'm just going to take it, put it here, and now I'm ready to do what? Use our contour cut feature to get that contour, and you guessed it, put that white underfilling layer with it. So because I've got, you know, the black is filling in the holes on the zeros and the fours on this, so I don't have to worry about if the white's going to be off in the center for a lot of that. And that can be an issue uh, sometimes. Um, so that's why it's good to have, you know, a little bit more uh, of that black outline there to cover up that registration in this case. So, um, you know, once I'm happy, I will just go ahead and move it in and then click accept and uh, you know the drill, move it over, copy and paste. Alright, so as you may have started to notice that there's a theme to this video here uh, that uh, is going to hide the registration there uh, and you can see we've got a full coverage for the white underfilling layer on everything. 
Um, so yeah, uh, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and check out the other side. Um, and yeah, yeah, looks great. Let's go ahead and move over to the phone number. And there you have it, success. Uh, but you know, we already knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> so, all right, so that's good. You can see I've got a little leak on my toner uh, cartridge, my black toner cartridge up top. That's because I had to switch to my leaky one because my good one was running low on toner. So this is the one that I had trouble with because it had cat hair in it. And as you can see, there's gonna be a spot where there wasn't a complete uh, transfer of the adhesive right there. Uh, thanks, Mr. Kitty, appreciate that. Um, so yeah, I had about like three pieces of cat hair there, it ruined that. Um, but I'm still able to get a successful transfer, but what that will cause is when you wash it, a weak spot. So that's not anything you want. You always want to make sure that you've got the shirt nice and tight and you've got a nice tight roll when you're peeling up this material. Uh, if it's not working from one side, then go to the other side and try. Uh, now, you will notice that there's a mark going up the middle of my shirt in my decals. That's because when I pressed it, I left a uh, paper that had a crease going in the middle below it. And so uh, it kind of made that mark for both of those red stickers and my shirt. So. That's another lesson you can have there that you don't want to do like I do. Uh, and you know, have something underneath there that could affect your transfer. Now it's time for the shirt close up. Uh, I'm just gonna finish my finishing press here. And of course, you know, what that does is make sure that it's pressed nice and firmly down into the fabrics and, you know, will increase the washability of it. And I'm also using a matte Teflon, I'm not a matte Teflon, but a matte silicone sheet uh, that you can also purchase for the Forever Paper. So you can see that spot is still there on the Think Green, um, you know, because we didn't have the adhesive, but uh, everything else turned out great. A little fireman icon and then of course you can still see the crease uh, from before on the red but you know uh, it's all good uh, it should be uh, nice and much stronger so if you're curious about maybe seeing other videos uh, be sure to check out some of the stuff I've got uh, if you look at my ghost boot camp video you can find uh, ways to add distressed effects to your uh, decals that way you can make them softer and then stretchier um, and you know really extend the washability of them and then you know be sure to be on the lookout for more videos about new types of papers that I'm going to be testing and sharing with you thank you have a wonderful day